Hello there, watchy people. How's it going? Welcome along to SnowRunner with me and Chuck Tango. Hello there. And uh, you're now approaching with your trailer. I am indeed. Oh, I should pull in and get fuel. Yeah. I was just going to park up on the road. Don't forget you need to go on the other side as well. So just get your nose in to get your fuel so you don't have to reverse too far. Why? Yeah, because you have to be in the other bay to spawn the stuff. Um, I'm not going to get any stuff because I'm going to get you. You can have these two. And oh, okay. then I'm going to grab the metal beams because the metal beams take up two slots, don't they? All right. Well, you, it'd still probably be easier for you to go in there and then you can crane them from wherever they spawn to where I am now. Or do you want me to reverse Fair back? Enough. That's right. I'll, uh, I'll get them. Cool. I wonder what happens if you park the trailer in the spawn bay. <laughs> Whether they spawn uh, on the trailer or whether it will send you to space. The game crashes. <laughs> That's not a bad guess. It's definitely not a bad guess. Alright, that's one. Am I loading them? Ah, uh, if you want, I don't mind. I could do it myself. Nearly popped your tyre there. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 how do I do? Crane mode. Up on the D-pad, then X. It's not letting me. Oh. The engine's not running. Valid. There we go. It works now. Nice. Shame it doesn't put you in the uh, crane seat when you're in that mode. Yeah, that'd be a cool camera to have, wouldn't it? Even just move the player model into that seat would be nice. Nice. Quite nice. Kind of hanging it here. Mm hmm. Lovely. I'm going to swap into the Defender and spawn another one for me. Sure. Fuel to loading platform. There we go. Thanks, sir. Welcome. Working together. Holding on to Y and forgot. <laughs> when you said working together, I immediately got the Bob the Builder theme tuning in my head. Really? Mm. That's a dated reference now, isn't it? It is now, yeah. Look Lovely. At you. Sorted. Right, let's plan uh, a route. Who to come to when I need fuel. <laughs> um, I might double up on this and take this through some unexplored terrain. What do you think? Oh, you fool. <laughs> I love it, but you're a fool. Because we've got a, um, a watchtower to do, which is just south of the polar base, and I bet that there's a road between the two. So I'm going to give that a try. And right. then I'll shout for help. Hopefully those uh, fuel canisters on my roof rack are indeed full. I don't think our fuel will be an issue though, not necessarily. Oh blimey. Really? Trouble already? Yeah. Deflock's <laughs> uh, gonna help. Apparently not. I am just wedged. Go on. Wedged in what, sir? There we go. Mud. In mud. Cool. Alright, seem to have uh, got some momentum going now. 
Very nice. Oh. At least that's a nice thing with having that much weight what? on the back here. When you've got momentum, you've got a lot of it. I didn't touch anything, and I got 15 points of suspension damage. Tire damage. Range. Maybe you're too heavy. Maybe. I didn't see anything in the row. Play the tape. Yeah. Throw it to the video ref. There's, there's actually some logs and... Well, they're not really logs. Tiny little bits of stuff in the path. I can't imagine that would have done it. In this game. I reckon it's just poor maintenance, mate. I reckon you've just not been uh, keeping up with the upkeep. I mean, that is fair, looking at the state of this thing. Come on. Get some grasp. There it is. I don't think I'm moving any faster in low plus, so I'm just going to keep it in low. Got low and low wheel spin mode. Yeah. Oh, I've stopped. Why have I stopped? Come on. I believe in you. Have I got anything that I can tug on? I do. Oh. Oh, no, Rob, we're recording an episode. <laughs> okay, this is not not going very well. I can pull you backwards. Um. Yeah, maybe. I wonder uh, why, actually. I think it's the trailer that's the problem. I think it's caught on that bit of rock. Uh, yeah, it looks to be, doesn't it? <laughs> Stop releasing the winch. Uh, let's try reversing. Oh yeah, it goes backwards. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, now let's try going a bit further to that side. Oh yep. Yeah. There we That's go. Good. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, I think there's a rock under the water there that you're stuck on. Right. The trailer very definitely bounced left at one point. Yeah. I wonder if the rocks to the right, the ice to the right, has just got like too big a hitbox or something. Yes. Let's blame the developers. I like that plan. <laughs> it's usually true with this one. <laughs> well, maybe half the time. Come on, get some grip. You have a nice uh, soundtrack to listen to. What, the river? No, that exhaust note. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty uh, revy, isn't it, this one? A Reiki. Yeah. Oh, I think it's another boulder again. A boulder? Yeah, uh, the trailer's trying to climb over. And he's now pivoting. Oh, there she goes. It's really hard to judge the, with the width of the trailer, like where the wheels are. You could drive looking behind you. Basically empty in front of you, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. It widens out here as well. There we go. I think this is my favourite bit of this map, in this little river bit. Here's a cool feature. Yeah. Just a little water run. Mm. But it's not actually scary at all, like when you get in it. <laughs> you've actually got loads of grip. At least when you don't have a 
ridiculously overweight trailer anyway. Nearly through. So I'm going right, I think. What? I have to check my map again. Uh, yeah, I'm. Oh no, second right. I don't know where that first one goes. Second right looks a bit bigger. Second right goes into a lake, mate. Yeah. Like, you want to be driving down the river, you want to be taking. Oh no, actually, the, yeah, I see what you mean. Where you are now, there's a right that goes alongside the river. Yeah. And then the one after that just looks bigger. Yeah, exactly. I think it's a case of, like, dry but narrow or wide but wet. Yeah. I think with these big mud tyres, I'll probably go for the wide but wet. I think that's smart, mate. <laughs> In that face, in that face, in that case, I'm gonna go straight on towards the steel beams, and then when you get to your destination, if you get to your destination, <laughs> uh, you can then jump in my truck and bring the crane over to pick up these steel beams for me. Ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Sweet. That's like a plan to you, sir. Yep, works for me. A bit sad I didn't get to use the other jeep. Yeah, it's uh, strange that you don't, don't let you tow trailers with that. Yeah. Maybe it's just not got the power. Could be. After I spent a load of time and money upgrading it as well. Oh, well, you got a new scout now at least. Yeah. Is that going to be a problem for those wheels? Right. Cool, cool. Keep it moving. Let's try low plus now. Yeah, we are a bit quicker actually. I'm getting a lot of wheel spin on these this muddy, snowy road in yeah. low, so I think I'll just stay in low rather than low plus. Yeah. I think uh, it is the sensible thing. Yeah, that's very wet, that road. Like, very wet. <laughs> I wonder where that other one would have taken me. You might be able to see it through the trees, maybe. Possibly. Looked close on the map. Yeah. Let me get those diff locks on again. Yeah, that definitely is the right thing to do. Oof. They've left some handy logs in the mud here. Press on through. There we go, that's the one I'm looking at. Yeah, they've they've very purposefully left logs along each edge so you can like zigzag across. Very nice, very nice. Do you to drive on or winch off of? To winch. I suppose you could drive around that edge. I don't know, there might be some roll danger there. Not that steep, but generally speaking, in this, when you when you try and drive over logs, you get quite stuck in small things. Just want to point out: if you roll over, can the crane get to you? Uh yeah, yeah. It's very accessible, and I think a bigger truck would get through this a lot easier. Oh my God, the speed! Oof. Wow, those lights! 
So good. I love tarmac. Tarmac is good, isn't it? Um, or asphalt for our American inclined viewers. Haven't seen any for quite a while. Well, Americans. Yeah. American viewers. Uh, oof. Tarmac. Tarmac Adam. Pull me in. I am gonna have to climb over a log. It's one right across the middle. Let's see how we do with that. I reckon you'll be fine, mate. Oh no, you can't get metal beams from here. Oh really? Not from this warehouse, you've got to go to the factory, I assume. Oh. Alright. Off to the factory then. Well, there's two factories. Oh, there we go. Mm. Very nice. All right. Yeah, it's interesting they've chosen to put two factories on this map. Uh, is the, the one I'm going to, would that be the best one to go to? Or is there one that's closer? Let me look on the map. Because this is right off the main road, so I figure this is be likely to be a good one. They're, they're both off the main road, so you're going to pass both of them whatever you do now, I think. So go to this one then? Yeah, you might as well. Yeah, I, I, it might be that the two factories provide different things. It, they might not all do metal beams or whatever. That's a valid point. So I would go in anyway, and if you can get it, get it, just to be sure. You have to wait for a crane either way, aren't I? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'll I'll do that now. I'll leave this here and come and get you because that way there's something happening all the time. Something happening all the time. Right, stop there. And then, uh, what truck's got the thing on? It's the Caterpillar, right? Uh, yes. Cool. Lights are on. Jam. Large pipes and metal beams. Sweet. Man, it's almost like punishing how easily this thing gets through. <laughs> it's mocking you. Yeah. It's taking me ages to get through in my little jeep and then this just drives on. Not even in all-wheel drive. <laughs> probably didn't take the most sensible route, but I did it for the fun. Did it for the lols. Mm -hmm. Oil field. We meet up with the main road. Can't be too far. Look at the map. You're on the main road, mate. Oh, am I? Yeah. Huh. Fair enough. Bang a left here. Come past the warehouse in front of you. Turn right. Well, veer right. And the building right in front of you is the factory. Yep. Oh, the warehouse must be where you get the bricks. It is indeed. That is correct. Can confirm. Look at the pace on him. <laughs> right. Boom. Uh, cargo management. We want metal beams to the loading platform. Uh, and then 
anchor crane mode. Close to you there. Be right. Uh, come on, camera, do what you tell. Oh, there we are. If you there, drop it, you'll flip me car. <laughs> It'll snap me toe ball off. Through there. Perfect. Right. Turn that off and head back to my jeep. Where do I need to take this then? Uh, to the polar base, which is central north. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Best way there, from where I am, would be. Gracious, who knows? Who can say? I think I'm just better off following the main road all the way around. Actually, yeah, you might be from there. Where am I? Yeah, I do want to go there. That's the road I could have come along. Tempted to retrace my steps and try and go the same route you are, actually. Ooh. What say you? Yeah, it might take you a bit longer because it's uh, slow going. But it's doable, it's incredibly doable. Okay, I'll do that then. Because uh, I'd rather be near you. Oh. For uh, oh, uh, my vehicle isn't moving. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my vehicle not moving? Is your handbrake on? Is the engine on? Mm. <laughs> Engines on, handbrakes off. Oh dear. Uh, this is concerning. Yeah. Man. Is it just too much weight with that trailer? Uh, I worry that it may be. <laughs> oh dear. Grabbing random things when I fire my winch now. Right, don't really need it. It's okay. Oh no, I think it was bugged. Oh, because really? I winched off of a tree behind me, moved it like three inches, and now we're moving. Ah. That's good then. Yeah, I think. I think this. I don't know what they expect you to use to tow this trailer. Maybe like the the yar or something. Yeah, there must be like a very large car. Yeah, the six wheeler yar is pretty beast like. I don't think it's great for these. Well, lesson learned. Although saying that, we've got. Uh, two or three more runs to do, haven't we? I'm less worried about the bricks. Yeah. Well, the, for, the, for the bricks, we have to go back to the warehouse, so we may as well go back to the garage and swap out the trailer. Yeah. What's here? Oh, there's a time trial here. About that. Not yet, at least. I'd love some daylight so I can see what's happening to my trailer. Yeah, what is the time now? It is 1 am, so it's going to be a little while. What you need is lights like mine. Right. facing ones. Yeah, and bright. But uh, probably with the YouTube compression, <laughs> the viewers can't see much of it, but I can see quite well. Eesh, man. 
It's quite painful driving at this speed. I don't have the patience for this, it's fine. I can do it, I can hang on. Oh, and now it stopped. <laughs> Cursed it, mate. Yeah. There we go. Right, moving again. Whew. Speaking of, as am I. I'm down to 40 litres of fuel. Oh, same as that. Half a tank. Oh, it stopped again. Oh, no. Here we go. Sometimes it just decides to stop for no apparent reason. I don't know whether it's trying to do a gear change or something. It shouldn't be because I'm in low range. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't stop uh, for gear changes in low range, I don't believe. Yeah, it just came to an abrupt stop and then then went again. <laughs> I guess there must have been a stone or something that it pushed under. There are a few um, familiar items in expeditions. Like, do you remember the big seismic uh, thing that goes on the back of the truck? Yes. That's in there. Reuse that, and there's there's a metal detector which feels familiar, but I don't yep. don't know if we yeah there's one of those I think okay uh, it has more uses in expeditions than this one I think anyway I've not really used it in this so I can't remember what it does. I need to take this a bit wider so that I don't get hung up. Eesh. Water over road, that's what you love to see. If you're a boat. <laughs> exactly. Oh man. We were that one man on every single news reporting story about flooding in the UK where there's always one person in a kayak. Yeah, yeah, there's always someone paddling by, isn't there? <laughs> it's very handy, that. Right, well, just before we head into this lake, I think is a great place to leave this episode. Oh, you tease. So, yeah, join us next Let's time when uh, we will head into this lake. It's not really a lake, is it? It's just a bit of water. But even so, we will, we will go through and see how we do. Um... But yes, thank you very much for watching. Please do leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, go check out Trucker Tango on Twitch TV. Me. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>